Hello, lone viewer. You always get here fast. I just started the stream like three minutes ago. The intro cutscene's not even done yet. Do you have like Twitch set to email you when I start when people start streaming or what? Like, I think that is a thing you can do. I don't do that though. Hello, Demon Cat Shade. Don't have anyone to play co op with at the moment, so we're just going solo. I just got this game today, actually. This is my first time through. I was finishing, um,. Kirby's Epic Yarn, I realized I never got this game, but I always meant to. I always planned on getting it when the price dropped a bit, but that didn't happen, so whatever. Oh. Right. Um. Hang <laughs> on while I edit the stupid stream title. Man, none of the Kirby games have uh, thumbnails on Twitch. Yeah, I already changed it. So you don't have to. A little more teaserer. For all I know, it might be streaming still in an hour. I. We'll just be playing this for however long I want to. Not sure what the stars are for. Oh, probably one ups like uh, Dreamland 3. I managed to burn my thumb just before I started playing, so that's probably going to be annoying. Okay, so it does have a move list. Burning flame. Oh, cool. Just like Dream or er, uh, Superstar. Um, I certainly don't know what they're called. Oh! Ultra. Yeah, I have Ultra. I have 100% completed Ultra, like, twice. Energy Sphere. I will probably eventually miss some. I have no idea where any of them are, but I'll just do a normal playthrough until... Oh, I see. Gimme. Aww. Meat! What? Oh, right. I can shake. 
I forget which Kirby game it is, but there's one where to do the big suck, all you have to do is um, hold it. I think it's... I want to say it's one of the DS ones, maybe Squeak Squad. Oh yeah, Wham Bam Diamond or whatever. Kurt, um, Mark Soul gave me the most trouble, but he's supposed to, I guess. I'd never had Amazing Mirror either, actually. That was just one of those ultra abilities. It sure is. How oh, nice there's different swords. How can you be stuck in Kirby's adventure? Oh, the ambassador program. I'm talking about the amb ambassadors program because, like, in my opinion, it should have been like free games or like an early shot at games. It shouldn't be only like ambassadors only get access to buy certain games. That's just dumb. I didn't get this tuna, apparently. Run, Kirby, run. Oh, you can't land on them in this one? I need to set those up. Oh, they were free games? Then why don't they let other people pay for them? That's, that's what I... I just don't like that... You know, there are games they clearly have out there digitally. Oh, crap. But people like me can't pay for them, because I would love to buy um, Amazing Mirror, because I never got it. And at this point, like, I don't entirely trust Nintendo's um, digital policies, but I would probably rather have that than the GBA cart. Oh, they're not complete? Thumbs would be killing me. I burnt my um, left thumb somehow um, making pizza, and so that's what I'm using the D pad, of course. Oh, they can't enter sleep mode? That's weird. Amazing Mirror, that is not the remake of Kirby's Adventure, is it? I think that is, that's a separate one, right? Which is the one that's a remake of, um... Kirby's Adventure. Those Bronto Burts look wrong. So they don't look quite... They look weird. Oh yeah, Nightmare in Dreamland. Oh yeah, I wanted to get that one because... If I recall correctly, it has the frickin' amazing, um, music for, uh, DDD. Oh, wow, I didn't even remember getting all three of the gears. So I picked those up. Check my moves here. Target fire. Oh, all right, cool. Um, does that just leave the fire? Ah. Uh. 
just like I thought. Those are one-ups. They're percents of a one-up. Cutter drop, cleaving cutter. Alright, so the moves are mostly like um, Kirby Superstar take it. Oh, he wasn't too high. I always loved that attack in uh, Superstar. It just felt so powerful. Oh, there are charge attacks. Bounce off of them. Could have sworn Superstar you uh, bounced off of people when you use that. Oh well, maybe you don't. Maybe I'm thinking of um, Suplex. That downward kick. Oh, right, that's useful. For some reason, I thought I could, uh, you cut the wire? I thought you could, um, bounce when you did the downward hit. Maybe you couldn't Ultra, or in Superstar. Um, I was worried to cut that, because in, in Superstar, there's some puzzles where if you, like, if you cut down a rope, you'll trap an item, I think. Hello, Jack. Yoink. Yeah, I know the swords downward thrust did, and the... No, give me. I could have swore Cutter did that too, though. Needle was always super lame in the old ones. Um, I'm not sure I've seen Needle in a Kirby game since, um, well, at least since uh, 64. Wait, was there? A ne yeah, there must have been a Needle because you could be Gordo on that. Oh, you can roll up walls. Probably the dash attack, maybe? Gimme? Oh, hey, what? Screw that, I want beam. I suspected the attacks are like 90% the same as they are in Superstar, where applicable. Though they're named a little differently. 
It was about to, but then I got beam and I didn't want to lose it. What do we got? Oh, that's the fire. I'm not as big a fan of the charge shot in this one. I always like the charge, the look of the charge shot, with, like the two, like swirling beams in uh, in Superstar. I know that you can lengthen your air movement with the machine gun beam. So there are, I take it these are the ones that can block off passages. Yeah, and I like the, um, that the charge beam, like, or the dash beam used to be like, um, oh, I missed a gear. They used to be like those spinning balls. It looked pretty cool. Though I, I always like the mirror better than the, uh, beam. So I really like the beam machine gun. That's really useful against sub bosses and stuff. And I'm glad to see it's mostly unchanged on this. I really like when attacks like affect how you move in a useful way. Like the beam lets you stay in midair and you know control your your jump pretty well. Oh, sword beams, excellent. Oh, in um, Air Ride or whatever? I didn't have that one. It looks pretty good. The music of that is actually really good. Yeah, that's another Kirby game I don't have. I'm missing... So I'm missing Air Dash. I am... Er... Air Ride. I am missing... The GBA ones. Spark. Um... Amazing Mirror and... What's it called? Uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Otherwise, I have most of the non-spin-off ones. Well, that was easy. Uh, so does this work like plasma? It sure does. Plasma is one of my favorites, especially when you're the co-op player and um, Superstar, because you can friggin' float and just walk around with a static charge and beat everything up. Um, right, so it's basically the same, except we've got Pikachu attacks. Let me guess. I need to use that to break these blocks. Go. Oh, it's just a donut. Stay immobile while I block. Is there a block button? Or what do you mean? Oh, you mean in Superstar. Yeah, I know what you mean. With the uh, Plasma Wisp. What's this? Beam. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, the mirror was crazy. Aww. And I love the mirror, like, the twin attack you can do. I don't think it actually had too many abilities, but it was so useful because of that reflection. Oh, and the and the block. The block was crazy good. In fact, you might have been invincible in that block. I mean, maybe, um, I think Marks' giant laser would still hurt you. But it was like the next best thing compared to, um, being rock.
Oh yeah, Tack. Tack's block was completely invulnerable. That was Tack and Plasma Wisp. Um, and Bubsy were or Bugsy, yeah, Bugsy were probably my favorites as uh, co-op players. And I like that in um, Superstar Ultra you could do the boss rush as the uh, helper, even single player. That was really cool. Ah. Not worth it. No. Come here. I'm sure I need this. Yep. Yeah, that was really fun. Um, there was one I had the heck of a time actually beating the game with. I forget which one it was. But yeah, um, Hammer, the Hammer guy was so ridiculously overpowered in that mode. Because the flaming uppercut just murdered everything. Oh, did the does the video and look right, and does the audio sound like? Can you hear my voice pretty clearly in the game audio clear enough when I'm not talking? I had to tinker with settings again. Oh yeah, Meta Nightmare Ultra was great. I liked that they included all those modes that made the game harder, or you know, at least different. But they were all pretty much harder than the original Superstar. My only real complaint about Superstar is that it was pretty easy. Except when you're like six and you're playing uh, Colosseum, that's pretty hard. Damn it. I don't know why I expected that to break that. I see you. Oh, so yeah, and the, um,. That, like, evil version of Kirby's Dreamland that they have where you fight, like, Evil Krako and Kabula. That was really cool. I love that they brought back Kabula. Has she been in anything since, um, you know, Ultra and the original Kirby? Aw, food. Oh, I bet you were an arrow thing. Are you? No, you're not. Beam! Your cutter. Yeah, I really like that. And I like the, the music for the most part in Ultra is really good. The one music change I really did not like was the... Uh, the music when you're going into Nova um, is really tinny and bleh. They used to have really good bass, and I mean, um, you're not going to get good bass out of a DS speaker anyway, but even when you're listening on headphones, it's just tinny and weak, which is, which is a shame. But I really love the DDD remix for, um, what was the name of that mode? The mode where... It's basically Kirby's Dreamland in, like, difficult mode. Don't need to go there. But I like pretty much all of the DDD remixes. Uh, DDD's theme and um, Gourmet Race are two of my favorite Kirby tracks ever. Damn it. Power up. Difficult. <laughs> Out of my way, DD. Your Waddle D. Waddle D D D. They should have a Waddle D D D like sub boss or something. Oh. 
another superpower, I'm sure. down it moves slightly but not too much I take it there's a gear hidden everywhere there's a superpower Tell me I can go back. Alright, good. Guard button? I didn't realize that. Leaf uppercut, leaf rain. Let's try this out. Let's go to the guard button. Oh, so it's kind of like wing, but it's not without the wingness of it. I like the smoldering embers there, that's a nice touch. Who is behind the giant tree door? I wonder who has the exact same layout. Oh, let's do beam. Slightly different layout. What's up, Wispy? There you go. Oh, he 
fires off the beeps, though. Uh oh. No thanks. Slightly weaker than usual, Wispy. We got the things. Paddles. Yeah, poor Wispy. Even in that super hard mode in Kirby Superstar Ultra, he's not very hard. So he finally drops some stuff that you can't swallow and spit back at him to do crazy damage. I'm trying to think if there was ever a like remotely difficult Wispy Woods boss. I don't really think there was. Unless you count him in um uh, Kirby's Dream Course, because he's a big pain in the butt in certain maps and that, but he's not really a boss. So if I unlock the copy abilities, does that does that work basically like the um, the things in Kirby's Adventure where you could, you know, go and grab that ability and then start a stage with whatever power you want, basically? Or uh, Dino Blade? Beam. Oh, we have an uppercut now. Oh, that doesn't bounce now either. The uh, downward sword thrust. Bronto Burt's just seemed slightly too... They're like too much of a reddish pink. That not seem quite right. Aww. Oh, I wanted those. Hello, Giant Gordo. Oh, he just walked down. Aww. Oh. Oh, Throw sword. I was figuring time would matter more than killing everything. It's often the way it is. I didn't really pay attention to the rules though. Oh cool, you can up the thrust while you're in the already in the air. There we go. tips. To defeat Wispy Woods, hit him until he dies. Nothing. Alright, let's continue on. 
How do I... Oh, out here. Oh, the warp star. Going to Sandula. that guy fire? Every time I see a new enemy, I want to swallow it to see what power it has. I remember you. Oh, you don't die so easily, do you? How do you like that? Those guys are from 64. Hey, Scarfy. Special door. Seems I get whip here anyway. That's not much of a charge. Um. Oh wow, lots of moves. Unless it like affects the enemies differently. Whip grab. Oh, they're like grapple attacks, like um a suplex maybe. Yeah, it's suplex. Got it. Scarfies are pretty weak. Somebody's steam messaging me. In the whip. But maybe not quite as much as I like suplex. Come back. I guess I would have had to keep fire that whole time. Try this wall climb. I don't think I can use the cannon though, because I don't have fire. Was there? Oh, right, these guys. I wasn't even thinking. Excellent, you can hide. 
The backgrounds are a nice touch. Hmm. I don't want to be back. Oh. Too late for that now. Oh, hey, it's Broom Hatter. Switch. Oh. Probably could have waited, but whatever. Ah! Sees me, Mr. Mushroom. Where's that whip? Eh, nah, whatever. Don't suppose I get broom. No. That was just in Dreamland 3. The broom had some surprisingly cool abilities in Dreamland 3, actually. Like, I think the surfboard was part of the broom with one of the pets. And the... That green bird, you could do the... Like, use him like a bucket. That green bird had some of the best attacks. Like, um, him and electricity was awesome. He's a little RC bird. It was awesome. I can never remember half the pet's names. Actually, at the moment, I can't think about any of them except for Rick. I feel like I missed a gear. Might have something to the left, I don't know. Dreamland 3 was a really good one. Parasol. I like Dreamland 3 more than, um... Dreamland 1 or 2, really. Um, not quite as much as Superstar, but it's a lot... It's more of a slower-paced game than uh, Superstar. It's pretty cool. And I love the final boss in that. Parasol Shield... Same stuff. Twirl. Surface Throw. Water parasol drill, surface spray. Get down here. Oops. No. Yeah, exactly as I thought. I got the drill. Oop. <laughs> I should have expected that. Like the drill. Oh, cool! You can da use the dash attack in midair. I'm sure, we can do that. Four. At least one person thought they were leaving anyway. And there's only nine of us, and one of those is me. So I'm not that surprised. I need all of my precious YouTube subscribers to actually come over here to Twitch. I have thus far achieved a 1% conversion rate, which is not amazing. Gimme. Alright, hammer flip. Do not want to do hammer throw. <laughs> Triple hammer. Alright, so this is pretty much the same. I wonder if the flaming uppercuts is overpowered as it is in uh, Superstar. I think that does like the most damage out of any normal Kirby attack, not counting Crash. Oh, I don't even get a one up.
Kind of good though. Superstar was like crazy generous with the one ups. I was I could like 100% of the time get three one ups every uh, cannon mini game. Yeah, I don't need to play Ninja Dojo yet. The <laughs> hammer is pretty much always overpowered. Not as much in um, Kirby's Adventure, but it's pretty hard to be overpowered in that game. For an NES game, oh ice! For an NES game, it was a really good game. The controls, oh your water. I look like MC Hammer over here. Um, ironically, after losing the hammer power, Cat Magnum. Wave attack dash. What's the point of that? Oh, that is awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Excellent. Now let me get that water back. Oh wow, I like this power. Ow. Right. Right. Oh man, this reminds me of the jet power in Superstar. That was a great one. I do stuff underwater. No. Rainbow Rain Water Crown. I don't get Water Crown. What's that for? Well, I just have a better water gun. So that's attack people on either side, I guess. Okay, there's got to be a way to get over there. Hey! Surf and Kirby Chew. I figured. Oh, it's just one of these. I'll take some grapes, thank you. <laughs> the water flat top he's got going on is a nice touch. Oh, his normal dash is replaced too. That is sweet. Oh, wait. I need to try rock. Yep, it's rock. Oh, so I have more than one attack now. Don't change, don't smash. Turbo stone. It's pretty much the same except this. Huh. I guess that could be useful. Fish. Let me save you by squishing you. Oh, hey, it's three of the guys from uh, Dreamland 3. We got Rick, the owl, and the other guy. Whee! No! Oh. So we're playing that game, huh? Just suspected. Kirby games like doing that. Not really sure what the stone uppercut is supposed to be for. I guess for hitting bosses without, you know, turning into stone. Oh, you can just break those with whatever. Smash! Screw stone, I want this. 
I like the different door types. Uh oh. No. One up. Because you see this door and you know it's not the right, like it's an optional thing. I like being able to differentiate that stuff. I was expecting a sub boss, and I'm like, this doesn't look like a sub boss. Yeah, the one with the downwards flowing stars are like side areas, and the, uh, I think three star? The more standard looking Kirby door is the next area one. And warp star. Get out of here, Kaboo. No one likes you. Yeah, the three star doors at the next area thingies. What have we here? Oh, sweet. That's awesome. was a thing there. That's what I was looking for. Excuse me. There we go. Oop, run. Oh, we've got the floating water things. I always thought was, that was really weird but really cool in Superstar. The floating blocks of water they had. Especially on one of the, um... Crap, what was that called? That game mode where you had to unlock powers instead of just absorbing them. The one with Nova. Oh god. Milky Way Wishes, that's what it was. Are these always going to be the same? Well, I guess they have different attack patterns, maybe. <laughs> Eat Parasol. Hello. Yeah, I actually found the copy ability on accident. I was just poking around, and we happened to find the uh, copy ability. But I mean, I actually got that, um, but I didn't use the copy ability myself, because it's actually kind of a pain in the butt as Kirby. But Tack is freaking awesome for the co-op player. Oops. drink over here. Just a 
Probably the boss, come to think of it. Yeah, it would have been nice if Ultra or I wonder if the next Kirby game will have like proper online multiplayer. Nintendo is kind of terrible with the internet and anything remotely related to the internet. So DS games, like I wish Superstar Ultra had online play, but if it did have it, it probably would have been terrible, so whatever. I mean, the friend code system was... Ugh, friend codes. Yeah, I'd play Ultra with you if I could, but local only. I'm hoping whatever Wii U Kirby allows, like, online multiplayer and... Like, ideally with voice chat, but I guess I could just use Skype or Mumble or something. It sadly still feels kind of like a pipe dream to expect Nintendo games to have, like, half-decent mul online multiplayer. After what they did with, um... Uh, Smash Bros. Brawl. Uh, I stopped selling games. I don't do that anymore. Hello, giant Shotso. Ooh, 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 gimme. Tornado is always fun. This was probably my favorite. No, UFO was my favorite Kirby's Adventure attack. This was probably one of my second favorites. Aw, gotta shake the Wiimote. I hate things where you have to shake the Wiimote. Aw, oh, that sucks. My game case never leaves home. attack. Tornado. Alright, that's just the opposite of that. That's kind of cool. Vulnerable, which is nice. Uh, once again. Oh. I wonder if I can inhale the giant shots on or kill him with this. I don't think you can. Oh, good. Yeah, I've lost a DS and a PSP, so I'm very careful with my game cases. I've only lost... I've lost a couple of DS games, and one of my favorite... Game Boy Advance games. What sucks is I lost, um... Um... Mega Man Zero 4, which was probably my favorite of the series. And along with it, uh, Mega Man ZX2, or ZX Advent. I replaced ZX Advent. Oh, jump! No, I want jump. Stop that, Kirby. <laughs> High jump is a fairly rare one. Good to see how they have a good variety of uh, copy power in this one. High jump, rocket high jump, mega high jump, rocket dive, alright. That's. <laughs> oh, he doesn't actually jump. Aw, oh, no! Oh, 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 okay. Crisis averted. Yeah, ZX and ZX Advent were great. I would love to see more Mega Man Metroidvanias like that. But I mean, Advent's secret ending left so much, like, it was so blatantly asking for a sequel, and I mean, it's been six years, I think, so. I don't know. Capcom just seems to straight out hate freaking Mega Man at this point. I don't know. 
I'm pretty pissed at them. King Do. Oh, you don't quite dash far enough to go through him. That's lame. That one of the nice things about that ability in Superstar was that you could dash straight through enemies and then, you know, dash through the other way. Oh cool, it boomerangs back. I definitely want your no, oh, you're probably just beam, aren't you? Yeah. If you liked um, Mega Man ZX, you would really like. You'd probably like um, Zero too. Oh yes. Oh, it's just food. I thought that would be um, the spicy food from uh, Kirby's Dream Land. But yeah, Mega Man Zero was also really good. The first one was sort of like a prototype for the Metroidvania type thing they were going for with um, ZX, but it wasn't quite there. But the other three Mega Man ZX games, they make it um, more like a standard Mega Man X game, but they play really well. And I like the like skill point system they had going on. And the like fighting move style abilities that you unlocked. Excellent. Bronto birds look too. Do those? Do the Bronto birds look too red to you guys too? They seem too red. They have unlocked um, OX a few times. I even got him on hard mode. Actually, could you unlock him on normal mode? Or no, it's easy mode. You can't unlock that on. But yeah, that's a really fun power. But if you haven't played Mega Man Zero, um, I think Mega Man Zero 3, um, if you play that one, you'll know where that, um, the OX by All Metal comes from. Oh, it does let you unlock copy abilities. Hey, I didn't attack you, Scarfy. Oh, he's frickin' one of those things from Mario 2. He sees you got the key. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yeah. Standard stuff. Yeah, completely standard stuff. Oh, can I get... Alright, good. Oh, you manually aim. Oh, you can bowl with them. That's neat. No! Uh, I did not want to sleep. As awesome as the power of sleep is. Nah, Spike isn't actually going to be that useful here. Game. Frickin' Scarfies. 
Scarfies are very non-lethal in this game. It would be surprisingly annoying in some of the others, like Dreamland 3. I don't think the bombs bounce, so I don't think that would work very well. Oh wow, this game ha or this level has five gears. Can I just no, can't. Hmm. Well, that's easy enough. I could have swore I grabbed a gear, or maybe it must it must have been a different item. Wait, can I grab the big guy? Yes, those are. Cutter. Pizza. Pizza cutter. Garbos. Is that the guy's name? like dragon type things. I don't know what they were called in free. Probably want your power. Yeah, I suspect it. Probably a sub boss if I'm down three or if I need three more. That would give me two and probably one more loose one. Gem! Invisibility gem, apparently. Odd power up, whatever. Oh, that's what it's for. Yeah, I think. Oh. Huh. Works for me. Yeah, I bet there's a super power up, and then one of those guys. Those things with stuff. The guys that drop the two gears. Oh man, I was gonna try and record chat so I could put chat on YouTube. Um, I'll have to try and do that next stream, I guess. Oh, I should have tried to absorb him, but it's apparently forgiving. the different swords, like the giant cutlass and stuff. The wooden training sword kind of thing. Backwards is fine too. And uh, one meat cleaver, that's neat. And somewhere in here, there is surely 
that subspace star thingy. There it is. I keep pressing up, expecting it to jump. I shouldn't. Up to jump. Whoa. What? 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 No. Hey. What? Trying to trick me out here, game. Everyone knows in platform as you go from the left to the right. That's just how things work. Launch shots us. Give the row a break. Shots bros. Yeah, I went there. Ah. Worth it. Not worth it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Need to remember to shake the Wemo. It must be thanks to Squeak Squad or whatever um, that I keep thinking that I can just hold the inhale button. You can't. Let's go sword. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those bat thingies. Keep wanting to call it a shriek bat. But that's that's my try. No, hey, I don't want to destroy those actually. Try to want a wild one called shriek bat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Where am I? Oh, I'm on the right. Okay. Do not panic. Stay calm. Hey, you want to give me some? Yeah. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Ow. No. Are you kidding me? That was some massive crap there. There you go. Um, sword isn't my favorite, but it works pretty well. At least it doesn't superstar. Um, I'm not sure I like it as much in this one. Um, not quite sure why. Like, it... Like, not bouncing off of enemies when you do the aerial attack is annoying. Cause it, it limits your mobility a bit. You hate all your favorite abilities are crap. Which are your favorites? Beam and Mirror are both great, actually. Have you seen me with the Mirror, um, the Mirror Shotgun? Or, not Shotgun. Uh, machine Gun. The Mirror Machine Gun gives you one of the best, um... Let's quit this, I guess. Like, Mirror... I'll say Mirror doesn't have quite enough attacks, but... It's still pretty dang effective. Um, beam with the beam machine gun and the charge attack, it's really pretty versatile. Because with the beam machine gun, you can do a lot of d damage and you keep really high mobility that lots of other powers won't give you. Mr. Doubter? Duder? Yeah, beam in games where there's only one attack is totally weak, but yeah, that's one of the main things that excited me about this game is I was really looking forward to having multiple moves per attack, like, um, you know, like in Superstar. Um, it wasn't as bad in the one move per ability thing wasn't as bad in games like 
Dreamland 3 and Kirby 64 because you had the mix ability where you, you know, either mix two different powers or you'd mix a power and a pet. Because that give you a lot more variety. But when each only has one move, there are a lot of abilities that are pretty useless like that. Oh, on a side note, if anybody is getting um, Harvest Moon, or not Harvest Moon, um, Animal Crossing, um, a new leaf, um, we should exchange friend codes. I'm getting that as soon as it comes out. I keep mixing it up with Harvest Moon because there's Harvest Moon, a new beginning, and Animal Crossing, new leaf, which, you know, they've both got the same sy symbolism going on. This guy reminds me of those guys in um, the Turban guys in the Dry Dry Desert in Paper Mario. I forget what they're called, but the toadstools with the turbans instead of the mushrooms. Uh, yeah, I think I already have you, Ashley, on uh, 3DS. He reminds me a little of Black Mages, but I don't know, with the nintendo -iness, I guess that's why he reminds me more of uh, those sand guys. Man, I can't even remember the name of that town, but if you play Paper Mario, you know what I'm talking about. Let's do Leaf. I'm not a super huge fan of this yet, but it's new, so I want to try it out. Oh, there's a training dummy. I really like the, um, those rooms in Superstar where you, you had all those abilities and you could try them out. Because that was really cool. In Kirby's Adventure, you know, you only got two abilities and you got, you know, an empty room to try them out in. You know, two abilities per room. Oh yeah, that's kind of like Beam Machine Gun. Doesn't have the high mobility though. Um, leaf scatter, leaf dance, leaf hide. this leaf release. So just, oh, alright. I think I've got it. Yeah, the needle ability. Um, the needle ability is probably one of the worst in the games where you only have one ability. This is the first time I've seen needle in any, in one of the games where you have, you know, moves instead of just one attack per uh, ability. Now it's usually in the really old ones. Needle's one of your favorites? It's not. Aside from situations where you literally have to use it, um, I mean, it was pretty good in Kirby 64, actually, but aside from that, it's never really been very good. I mean, Kirby 64 was awesome, though, because you had, um, what did you have? You had the giant spike cutter, you had the, the Gordo bomb, that was one of my favorite abilities in the whole game. Um, you had the flaming arrow. Yeah, and Kirby 64, Needle was one of my favorite. Uh, like, the thing about Kirby 64, thanks to the mixing ability, I can't name a single ability that I didn't like. 
because there was always some combination with that single ability that made that worked out really well. Oh. I, need, I need Mr. Chili. I'm sorry, Mr. Chili. Let's never fight again. Come here. Ice skate, ice breath. Yeah, I'm assuming this is gonna be mostly the same. Exactly like it was in Superstar. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, exactly like it is in uh, Superstar. Yeah, Ice Ball is definitely new. I felt like such a boss when I finally figured out the trick to making the um, ice flurry ability, you know, where you like, you press it three times and hold. I'm not sure why, but when I was a little kid, that was like hard to figure out for some reason. I can't really suction that guy. But every time I'm like super impressed that there's a new enemy, there's always a, a power up sphere. I want to use ice suction, don't you? Is there just ejection? And what else we got? Ice block. Oh, right. I keep forgetting there's a block in this game. Can I like hurt things with the ice? Just barely, they're like super close. Freeze. By freeze, do you mean. Ow. Come here, come here, come here. No! Oh, I wanted freeze. I think there was always the two ways to do freeze. You could do freeze after dashing and then freeze while sitting. I think one of them might have been undocumented, though. I don't know. At least in Superstar. I don't think it, they were undocumented. We may be talking about different things, though. Yeah, I think those were both in Superstar, too. Oh, 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 I saw a thing. Keep forgetting, you gotta shake the Wemo to do that. Oh! Huh. Go away. I'm kinda disappointed this game doesn't you doesn't let you use the uh, plastic controller or anything like that. I guess it gotta make sense because it requires the shaking of the remote, but I like when V games give you the options to use lots of different control schemes. Because for one thing, I really like my, um, I got a Wii Classic Controller Pro, and it's actually really good. Parasol is actually surprisingly good. Um, it's got a nice variety. Oh, whoa. What? What did I just do there? Oh. Is that... Air da No. Dash over... Alright. I see. I'm not sure why you'd want that when you can do this. Unique moves. You mean like the rising gust and stuff? Yeah, I saw those. And the hyper tornado or whatever it's called. The bee something special? I, I doubt the bee is something special. Oh! Spear! That's a new one. That is awesome. That is cool. I 
I just see a new enemy in a game like this, and I think, oh, I've got to absorb that. I wasn't really expecting that to be anything. Um. Is it underwater? Well, if you say so. Oh, cool. I think I like Spear. So is this basically how Waddle Dee acts? Because I know it's Waddle Dee, it's the Spear Waddle Dee is one of the co-op characters. Huh, this is a pretty cool moveset, really. You get lots of control on your direction of attack. It's got a thrust. Pretty basic. Moon drop is just... Oh, cool. Um... <laughs> cool. One repeatedly multi spear. Water, water thrust. Surface thrust. Uh, I like that spear copter. That's really cool. No. as I had feared. I was always bad with the timing puzzles as a kid. There were some puzzles like the, um... There's this one thing just before Heavy Lobster, I think, in Superstar. Um... Where there's some... Ow. No! There's some timing switch puzzles. And as a kid, I always had to have people come over and, like, you know, do co-op, so... You know, one person could hold down the switch as the other goes past. I always thought, you know, that's how you had to do that, but it's definitely possible to do single player. It's just harder. Am I missing a power, or...? There's gotta be one of those guys. Yep. Ooh! Super ice. I'll take it. And I've got ice cream for a hair. It's like that new Pokemon. I am I. Oh! That's pretty cool. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but that's pretty cool. I like the super abilities so far. There's Ninja. Ninja was like my favorite least practical ability in uh, Superstar. So I didn't find it super useful, but it was really fun to use. Oh man, wasn't there another Kirby ability where you um, you rolled in like a big snowball or something, and he caught up all the enemies in the snowball? I think that was in Kirby 64, wasn't it, with the two snowballs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ice ice ability in Kirby 64. Going down this time, huh? Or 
Parker, get down. My cat's being a butthead. Yeah, I'll be eager to see the ninja ability. And Feather, that was that was pretty fun. My only objection to Feather was that in Superstar, it was kind of like the not as good version of um, Jet. Because Jet was really fun. Fighter is one of the rare ones in this one, because it was like one of the most, it was like the very first ability you got in, oh, oh god, Kirby, hurry, no, run, um, it was the first ability you get in, what's it called, uh, Great Cave Offensive, I think it was pretty common after you get out of, uh, Spring Breeze. Spring Breeze was just limited because it was mostly the abilities that are in uh, Kirby's Dream Land, if I recall correctly. Well, most of the ones that are not Kirby's Dream Land. There was nothing in Kirby's Dream Land. And, um, I guess Kirby's Adventure? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Never mind. Does the shaking of the Wemo do just the just that last extra spin, right? I'll be interested to see what makes Fighter so broken then. More invincibility frames is always good, I guess. Yeah, I'll play the sub games later and I'm playing with somebody else. Oh, does anyone know when you're playing uh, multiplayer? Um, does the order of people like is player two always going to be Waddle D or whatever, or can player two pick whether they're Waddle D, DDD, or uh, Meta Knight? The fighter could always do a head open. At least, um, aww. At least the one in Superstar could. Oh, cool, that can be anyone. I figure Meta Knight's gonna be the most fun to play as. Maybe DDD. But, I mean, actually the Spear is a lot more fun than I thought, but I just figured I'd probably really rather be Meta Knight than Waddle Dee. Oh, spark. Gimme. Huh. Not quite used to how they mixed spark and uh, plasma. So I'm used to just tapping. You know, I'm thinking I'm playing um, plasma, but if I don't charge anything, then it attacks like spark. What thing I killed? I didn't even see it crash. I missed crash. Huh? 
Huh. I, yeah, I know what Crash looks like. I just didn't even notice him. I assume Crash is just the standard um, thing where he has a single attack. That's not Crash. Oh, that's Crash? So it is. I was expecting the uh, bombs with the skull on them like, uh, like it always is, really. Let me guess, one attack. Oh, I gotta charge it up. And now I gotta waste it. Like I always got like a supernova pope hat going on. Um, hmm. Now I need a sharp thing to get through that rope. Pretty sure I needed cutter for that, didn't I? Yeah. We'll see if you can burn the rope. You probably can't. Yeah, you can't. Oh well. Okay, I killed the boss without taking it because I wanted to go back and get Crash. I thought that was the first room with the map. Didn't realize I was actually decently far in. Probably not decently. Oh, Mike is in? That's cool. Damn it. Okay, I wasn't really that far in. Never mind. Wait. I want to do the whole sleep animation. Best power up in the game. I like in, I think it's Superstar, where he looks like, he looks around like, what? Huh? After he wakes up. I knew that cutter was gonna hurt. Oh, Kirby sweating. I just noticed that. It's okay, we got milk. Oh, food. I love these candies and pineapples floating underwater. I figured you could get out of sleep faster, but I didn't really want to. These guys don't have abilities. I've seen them before. I really like it. I think the game is good. Um, spear. Yummy. If you've played... Um, Kirby Superstar, I should probably look back for extras. It's a lot like Kirby Superstar and, um, well, not as much Kirby's Dreamland 3, really. But it's got a lot of that gameplay and a lot of familiar enemies from other Kirby games. But I really like that the attacks are the more complex ones of Superstar compared to the fairly simple mechanics of other games. How do I hit that? Oh. From that side. Duh.
Yeah, I think Kirby's Superstar did something exactly like that, where they put those sleep ability stands exactly in the worst possible place for them to be. I think they do that a couple times. Doink. Yeah, I'm really loving this game. Um, it sounded like pretty much everything I wanted out of a Kirby game, except maybe not... Like, Kirby games are usually... No! Yes! Um, a little overly easy. This one hasn't been, like, ridiculously easy. Like, um... What was it, a ridiculously easy Kirby game? Like, Kirby's Epic Yarn was a bit slow, but still a good game. Um, this has more of the superstars. Um, pacing, and it's... Oh, it's just a lot like a 3D superstar, I guess. No! Hmm. There's an extra mode. Is that like... Is that like a harder mode, or what? Like, less energy, or what? I just gotta not fall in that pit. Us tap taps have bad habits of falling in pits. Oh god! Okay. I'm not sure what button I pressed to get out of that, but I pressed a lot of them. The enemies are resized. They're like huge enemies, or what? Point. No! He doesn't jump as high as I expect him to off of enemies. Aw, and I bet I can only break that with the stupid... Yeah. Can I go back and get it? Original Wii. Uh, I'm playing on my Wii U, but I mean, it's no different if you're playing on Wii U or, um... Wii, um... You know, the if you're playing on the Wii U and the original Wii, they're the same thing, basically. Ugh. Oh, but yeah, it, it's not on the Wii U. Like, you can play it on the Wii, if that's what you meant. You gotta press A to jump off of them. I think I got this now. I like how people are giving me hints, like... The chat's, like, five seconds delayed. So people are giving me hints just as I figure things out for the first time. Like, I figure it out on my own, and then I look over in the chat and somebody said exactly that. Alright. No! Ugh. See, I got out of my groove. That's the problem. Oh, I was expecting a gear, honestly. Oh, I missed a water thing. I wanted the water thing. No. There's probably a thing up here. I knew it. A thing with stuff. Um. Oh, see? I told you. Well, I just expected you would bounce off of the enemies with a jump. As a side note, this will probably be the first well, stream that I upload in its entirety onto the YouTubes. Next streams, I'll try to record the chat separately and like stick that on the YouTube video. I'm not... like... I think I got a way I can do that. I'm still figuring out the streaming stuff, though. Go away. I didn't really need that, but whatever. No! Bad eel. How did you eels get embedded in these walls anyway? Well, that was.
was hard. Why are they called energy spheres? They're clearly gears. They could even call them energy gears, come to think of it. Let me out! Can you hear my headphone, or my microphone rattle when I shake the Wiimote? I'm always worried about shit like that. It's anything that disrupts the mic can be not pleasant to hear. Oh, is there a UFO ability in this game? That UFO is like one of the best. That was definitely my fave in, um, what's it called? In Kirby's Adventure. Hooray, high jump challenge. Oh, right, the Sphere Doomers. I just realized that's why they're called Sphere Doomers, because they're guarding the spheres. I hadn't thought of that, because, well, I actually still thought they were called Gears until a moment ago. Oh, lame. Yeah, UFO... I don't know, UFO was always crazy overpowered, though. Like, in uh, Squeak Squad, I think it was, they relegated it to, like, basically a secret power. Like, you had to... Like, unlock the enemy ability exhibition type thing in order to get at, um, in order to get UFO easily. And then in, um, Kirby's Adventure, there are, like, two levels, I think, where you could actually use UFO, and then you lose the ability at the end of the level, which is just mean. But, I mean, it's always pretty overpowered, because you get super... You're really mobile, and you have really good attacks. That's what makes it fun. No. Always for it to shake. How could you hate UFO? Oh, I think you can always ditch UFO, though in uh, Squeak Squad. The ghost was neat in theory, but like it does not work well. Oh yeah, ladders. Yeah. I remember that being an issue with ghost. It's a shame because ghost was could have been really cool, but it felt a little tacked on, but it was still pretty cool to use enemy abilities. But some of the time you just didn't have the mobility you need. Oh crap. Okay, it's not an instant kill. That is surprisingly forgiving. Get in. Even for a Kirby game, I would have suspected to die there. The start of that sound, that music, reminds me of so much of Terraria's like opening. Oh, I know how this goes. Could UFO Kirby really not go up ladders in uh, Squeak Squad? Let me guess, there was a gear in one of those. Eh, probably not. Oh, man. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to play this. My thumb's really bugging me. I burnt my thumb on pizza earlier. It's like... It's not very burnt, but it's enough to be annoying. No, can't go down ladders. Yeah, that would probably be problematic. Oh crap, I probably picked the wrong one, didn't I? Is there a gear in one of them? Damn it! Or a sphere, a gear sphere. That's what I call them, gear spheres. I did pick the wrong one, but it wasn't for a gear. So well. What? What? What do I do with this? Do I attack it? 
Well, I'll just carry it through the level then. Why not? Come here. Major attacks. Oh, there it goes. I like this new water ability. I guess maybe it's not entirely new. I think um, Squeak Squad maybe had a water ability. I always love the invincibility frame dash attacks. So you can just charge through a boss and then hit them from the other side. Oh, they travel along the ground. I didn't know that. Probably need your power. It's very common that you will need the boss's power whenever you beat a sub boss. Oh, right, Bubble. That's what it was. Yeah, Bubble was pretty different. Bubble was more like. What was Bubble like? Oh, yeah, Bubble was to turn people into, like, um, into bubbles you could collect. Oh, this is probably the gear thing you're talking about. Alright, so middle. Does it do that alternating thing like it did before? Whatever, I'll just do it. I hope it does the alternating because that's what I planned for. Hopefully I plan for it correctly. So I was watching now from the bottom. I like when games teach you, like, they teach you how to perform a puzzle, like, they have you do it once, and, you know, they expect you to kind of fail, but you notice the way you should have done it, and then they show you, you know, there's a second puzzle where you where it counts, and then if you were paying attention, you know how to do it. It's a lot better than, you know, just either giving a blatant hint that's like, oh, hey, do this. It's not even a puzzle. Or, you know, just expecting you to, like, replay the level eight times trying to figure out what the hell you do. I'm having jumping issues. Oh, I want spikes! Aww. No spikes for Kirby. Jump! I guess you have to be at the top of the water to jump, that makes sense. Why did I not pick that up? What else? I like the wind. The wind... Well, I like anything that reminds me of Kirby, or of Kirby Superstar, if you haven't noticed, but I like, I like the wind. They had some good level design in there with the wind and the Superstar. Yeah, wait, your mouths are open, right? Huh? That's what I thought. Punks. I wonder if I have enough lives. 23. Soon to be 24. Like I'm using this underwater with just no problem. I just know they're gonna, at one point, throw in a puzzle where you're not supposed to use your superpower to break through one of those things. And if you do break through one of those things, you lose out on the power, or on the energy sphere. Because there's just always one thing like that. That attack where you can throw the hammer. Yeah, I hated that attack because I would occasionally do that on accident. DDD can DDD can do that infinitely. That is awesome. It's like not a terrible attack, but it is not remotely like worth actually losing out on the hammer for. 
Come to think of it, could um could Bonkers do that infinitely? I forget if Bonkers could do that or not. Okay, run. I like the water columns. Like they have a neat they had a neat way of translating the 2D floating water stuff to 3D. That was always something pretty weird in the 2D Kirby's. There's just, you know, floating columns of water, and they they pretty faithfully cop, like, put that into 3D, really. And in a Kirby sort of way, it just, it makes sense. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really question this. Oh god. Run! Slowest star ever. Oh crap. Go, Star, go. No, 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 no! Kirby, what have you done? Uh, I want sphere. Did I just miss an energy sphere? No, I couldn't have. I probably just missed a one-up or something. Or not, well, one-up. Probably some stars. Because this guy's got two spheres. So I take it um, Waddle D acts like 90% like the spear ability. No! Or possibly 100% like the spear ability. Yoshi's Island, that was a really good game. And it was actually fairly difficult, at least as far as getting 100%. There's lots of mechanical stuff. Like, if you see, um, if you see a speedrun of that game, you really see there's a lot of um, there's a lot of cool tech going on and good play of that. I see stars are just as overpowered as always. Waddle D is exactly the spear ability. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. Is Meta Knight mostly sword, or is he like Meta Knight in um, in Superstar Ultra? Because I mean, he was mostly the sword, but he just he had some cool upgrades over the sword too in Ultra. This next one's probably boss time. I probably call it quits after this boss, so I don't like murder my burnt thumb here. Oh, cool! Meta Knight's like Ultra. That's that's good. Oh wait, that was only stage three. If you've got too much to go, I'm not. Onion Ocean. That sounds. I would not recommend swimming in an onion ocean, I gotta say. That that's not gonna end well for anybody. Yeah, I need to drag some friends over and play some of this multiplayer. Is it Olive Ocean? I could have sworn that was Onion Ocean. Whoa. I guess that doesn't really tell me. Oh, that's from Amazing Bear. Oh. Yeah, Olive Ocean, like... I didn't doubt for a second that was like a Kirby name. That is definitely something I would expect to see in a Kirby game. I just didn't doubt my own reading ability quite that much. Gimme. But come to think of it, I probably wouldn't swim in an olive ocean either. I mean, I like olives, but an ocean from olives would probably be very bad for your eyes. 
and open wounds and anything like that. I assume I need that. No! Key! Precious key! Welp. I probably could have used the door, but whatever. No! No! That's, that, that's what I just did. Yeah, Orange Ocean, I totally remember. Orange Ocean is also from Kirby's Adventure. Not just, um... Crap. Not just Nightmare and Dream. Oh! Oh! That's a repeating thingy. That makes it much easier. Five gears? I guess Kirby's got scuba gear. Or not scuba gear, but he's got goggles. Maybe you wouldn't notice the onionness of this ocean. Too late for keeping the sword ability. I lost that, like, in real time, I lost the ability, like, one or two seconds after you said that, or before you said that. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for it. going over to check the seaweed. Not sure what the- hey! The invincibility candy was for. I guess I should have grabbed it just to hear the theme. I think my favorite invincibility theme is probably like Kirby 64. It's like lethal sugar rush theme. That would be the other sword. I'll just keep this. Assume I'm looking for things to cut, then. I always knew the clans were trying to kill me. Wait, what? Oh, that's the spear. I assume I don't want the spear. Um... Come on. Oh, the spear can cut too? That's good to know. I figured since it was sharp, it might cut ropes, but I wasn't quite sure. No, I don't need that. Go up in here now. What's behind? No! No! I wanted to see... Aw, oh, man. I just know there was an energy sphere back there.
Yeah, it was too late. I was already stuck going up. By the time I realized, like, I didn't notice that. Oh, hey. Um. Spike. Yeah, by the time I realized that was go up water, I was already stuck. What is that? Bomb? Um. I should probably be running. Um. Crap. Kill me. Um, that's not... That's not how you kill me. This freaking guy. This guy's terrible at killing... Oh. What's it take for a guy to get killed around here? You. Oh, spikes. Wait, can I take this back up? I assume I can't, but... Nah, I'll just die. We've got 24 lives. Uh, I may as well do the first one, even if it's nothing special, just to get the hang of it. Shame I can't go back up thingy. Oh, yeah, you can shake the Wiimote to wake up faster. Damn it! Ugh, whatever. Look at the second. Oh, yeah, that's just a star. I should have noticed that. No! Ah. Uh... Should just held it up, I guess. If I throw it at a wall, will it explode when on contact? Or all right, so it will explode on contact because I wasn't sure about that. I figured I could throw it, but I wasn't... I was thinking it might just wait out the fuse. I'm not good with this thing. Though I got there with plenty of time last time. I should be just fine here. If anything, the first one was harder. There we go. That's probably the fourth one. Yeah. Oh well. If I replay, do I only have to get the ones I missed? Yeah, sticking to walls with the needles. Whoa. Um, it's a neat gimmick, but it's not actually that useful very often. Bye, Kyla. Whoa. Giant guy. Good for him. Wait, I kinda wanted that. As much as it can work underwater, actually. No! Your eels are jerks. Stole my power. Took her germs! Did I say Kyla? Is it Kayla? It's Kayla, right? I forget what I said. All of you guys have terrible to pronounce names. Oh, I was supposed to get the spear for that, wasn't I? Hang on. I might be able to get that spear again. If not, I'll die again. Is 
spear up here. Ah, yes. No! I needed that! You freaking eels. Honestly. There goes the neighborhood. Eels everywhere. Okay, I'll wait for the right one to go. Alright, there we go. I keep wanting to tap A to go faster, but this is not Mario. Like, it goes... It goes kind of faster, but it also goes to upwards direction. Nope, no Kirby for you. Alright. Now we're probably almost at the end of the level. Stage. Compatibility room two. Probably call it quits after this boss stage here. Yeah, I know what I need to do for that sphere. Hmm. Which ability should I get here? I like how I have to wait like 20 seconds for a response <laughs> thanks to stream lag and crap. If there were beam, I totally get beam. Got a vote for spear and a got for uh, one for ice. I'm gonna go with ice. I really like the jump attack with ice for bosses, because you get the invincibility frames and it does pretty decent damage. Wait, ice bowl. That's... Is that invincibility frames too? Wait, what do you mean ice bowl? The, um... The dash and then down attack? Oh yeah, the ice ball. Alright, I know what you mean. Yeah, that's a really good as one of those um, dash through with the invincibility frames. That's a really good addition to a move set. And I mean, ice wasn't really lacking for good moves either. It's got the air. Should have used that. That was dumb. I'm stuck. I killed him while stuck. That was quite easy. We got a wing! The other wing. I was gonna take a lot of damage there if we didn't die, but I like needed to get out of his hitbox for one thing. Also, one thing I kind of miss about Superstar that I like about this game is the variable health, like the um, hit points are, you know, all hits are equal. I kind of like that about this. 
Like, so light attacks deal less damage to you and to enemies, and heavy attacks can deal more. I don't know why that- that shouldn't be different, because I mean, my upload rate is the same, and I mean... I don't know if that's YouTube's deal. I mean, my stream... for YouTube's infrastructure, my stream should not be any problem at all. But yeah, and generally speaking, I've, like, literally never been able to stream on YouTube before, so... I have no idea how well this will turn out, but I really- I wanted to try, at least. Because, I mean... Potentially, this could be a lot better. Um, oh, give me. Um, just because I can reach my current fans without, you know, completely starting over and making my YouTube fans have to also follow me on something else and all that annoying crap. Wait a sec. Nothing. It's getting more delayed. It's playing constantly, isn't it? Or is it? Honestly, worst case, if it's absolutely terrible, I could end the stream early and go back to Twitch, but... Alright, I forgot to check my abilities here. Of course there would be four pages of this. Vulcan job, dash, thanks. Separate request? I don't see a separate request option for IDF streaming. That may have been an old thing. Um, streaming on Live streaming on YouTube isn't new, but um, they seem to be rolling it out in stages to people that ask for it and stuff. Down kick, double kick. Wait, what? I get it. Sorry, I'm teaching myself the moves here. <laughs> for I've never seen the four the 144p that people claim to be seeing. Oh, that's cool. Um I go four spot. Oh, we got a Hadouken motion going on. Moon somersault kick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back, come back. No. Your butthead. Alright. Yeah, yeah, those are just grabs. Are you guys on um, 480p, and is it still bad at 480? No, I need fire. <clears throat> For some reason, YouTube's restricting me to um, 480, considering my bitrate. I mean, I can lie to it and say that my bitrate is higher. Because, I mean, I can stream 720 just fine on Twitch. So, I'm not sure if I just need to lie to YouTube and that'll be fine, or if it's, like, really... I don't know. It really, YouTube should have better um, infrastructure for this, but I mean, <laughs> YouTube is less focused on uh, streaming than Twitch, so maybe they really don't. I mean, they've got better servers, I'm sure, but they may not have the streamy bits properly worked out. Chat hasn't updated for me for like a few minutes, so. Oh, there it goes. Huh. I think I may just have to go back to Twitch, because that's. This seems incredibly bad for no. 
freezing at all. Let me check OBS. Is anyone even not frozen? Like, can anyone even hear me right now? Hmm. I didn't really know what to expect, but I expected something a lot better than this. This is... Wait, what am I doing? Okay, so YouTube um, bitched at me that um, I'm hearing myself, and that's incredibly annoying. Alright, that's better. Um, YouTube was all like, hey, your uh, keyframes are so low, you need to up, you know, have more keyframes per second. Did I seriously just... God damn it. Um, yeah, so YouTube was all, oh hey, you need to up to your keyframes, and then I do that, and the stream quality went to absolute shit, so maybe that was part of why the stream was such a problem. Um, but I mean, damn. <laughs> I should not have listened to that. But I mean, um, quality aside, no. Quality aside, that was pretty wow. That was not what I was expecting at all. I heard Nintendo's been putting in more references, like, um... I guess Donkey Kong Country Returns has, uh, some Metroid references in it and stuff. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice the bananas. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I was noticing the, uh... The cannons work basically like the barrels in, um... Donkey Kong. Like, even more, more so than they did on Kirby 64. Er, um, Superstar. Man, now it's... It's only five, you know, like, maybe five seconds behind again. Um, which is just fine, honestly. Um, I can't believe why YouTube was that screwed up. I mean, it made me work so much more to, uh... Why am I so bad with these? Um, it made me do so much more work to set up the stream, and then when I'm actually streaming, it's just complete garbage. Because, I mean, I had to add tags, I had to set up my encoder, do all of this work to get it to start streaming. I don't like that cannon. <laughs> 440p. Like, seriously, I don't see that. Are you... Do you see that as an option on mobile or something? Because I don't get that at all on uh, desktop. The 144p. I mean, 240p should be bad enough for anyone. Huh. Also, um, when you're the channel owner on YouTube, you still can't post links in your own comments. And you can't do that in chat either. Which is incredibly annoying, because I mean, am I, I going to be spamming on my own channel? I mean... Oh, there's another thing. Preview what you see in the video. Oh, the quality is? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, why would I be spamming on my own video comments when, I mean, I could just make videos that are spam. And then people could report them and then get deleted and stuff. That's just dumb. Oh yeah, I hate when videos don't have the, um... I hate when videos don't have those preview thumbnails, because those are so crazy awesome. Most of my own videos seem to have them. Sorry, YouTube is driving me to drink. Just like those Dover boys. Yeah, I was sure I missed something. I didn't miss fire, did I? 
I assume I can melt the hexagonal ice. Actually, maybe I can't because I'm doing a boss fight here, but I don't know. I kept meaning to try that out. Oh. Oh, revolution, go! Man. I'm so amazed how bad that was. I figured when... So I tried to um, add live streaming a long time ago on YouTube, like months and months ago. Um, but... It was sort of a we'll call you, don't call us kind of thing where YouTube had to enable it for you or you had to be part of a partner network. I'm still not part of a partner network. Um, that a button just became available today. So I assumed, oh hey, they must have worked out the kinks with the, um, the live streaming, but no, no they have not. Holy shit. Yeah, the partner network, um, I honestly have been looking at some, I get partner offer spam now, um, which I suppose in a way is a good thing. I've been looking at some of the terms, some of them don't seem as offensive as I would have thought, like, um, big things to me are, um, ah, damn it, creative freedom and them not being able to, like, control what I post. Or, you know, remove my videos and no obligation to. Oh, Ninja! Ninja! No! Crap. Um, you know, no obligation to do whatever. And there is one that seems to fit those requirements, and, um. But I don't know. I just. Oh, right, everything respawns. So. Just gonna go get the other guy. But I mean, did I just kill him again? Oh, come here. Excellent. How many pages we got? Four pages. Um. Oh, really? You need to get three enemies to get the roulette. Yeah, I was wondering if this had the roulette. Shot, stop the dash. That standard stuff. Also standard. Uh, does that damage or what? Come here. Apparently. Pretty! Hold. Airdrop. Wall clang. Alright, I constantly forget there's a guard. Stealth water gun. That's probably what I needed it for. I was hoping for an energy sphere, of course. Man, that's so stupid, though. I was so hyped all day. I finally got YouTube streaming. I could stream, and my whole audience could see. My whole YouTube audience could see, and then... <sighs> that. Excuse you. I'll probably try a stream and not do that keyframe thing that YouTube wanted me to do. Wait. I need fire. Come here. Whee! Huh, so that it must require at least three then. That's interesting. Come here. Oh, wall clanging. Not sure why the kunai works just fine. Run, Kirby, run! Oh god. 
I should be playing this out. Get in there, Kirby. Oh, he's got the little helmet on. Or no, he doesn't. That's just his magic hat. That sure was hard. Why did they bother with the puzzle? Wait, can I melt? Nope, I can't. I figured when I saw the door on the ice that I couldn't melt it. time again. Droplets. Oh, the white puff thingies? That's good to know. My shoe, no! Oh, never mind. I want to smash these with old shoe. No. I wanted to save up just a little bit of shoe power there. Uh, water droplets. Oh, you mean the ice thingies or what? I don't. I didn't notice water droplets. Just the uh, icicles. another, like, if I see something I think it is the bleh, that I think is the drop, I'll just stop and ask you guys, I guess. So it's not the icicle, right? Drop me to my doom. Boss time. You have to be so obvious, game. Ow. Yeah, this is definitely what the uppercut is for. Stupid coconuts. I will take. Oh, it's a super hammer. Well, that was one of The muscle one. Oh, the rock. I don't know. That was that was a fairly rare one in in um Kirby Superstar. It must be fairly common in this one. It wasn't as rare as the Mar. There was Mar. Okay, there were three rare ones. I think there was a Mario, which was super rare. There was the Muscle Man statue, and I forget what else. But there's another one that was really rare. I think I saw at least a couple Nintendo references in some of them, but I don't know if those are the rare ones or not. 
I wasn't really paying much attention. I just recognized some old classics. Have it your way. That subway. Or something. I don't think that's actually a subway slogan, is it? Yes, Parker. I know you are there. Damn it. This one. No! Cease and desist. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Our subspace thingy. Yeah, after the third time, it wasn't on the one I was on. I figured it must not let you be. It must not come off the one you're standing on. Run! No, Kirby! <laughs> jump, I swear. I like how the keys are different colors. Or the auras, at least. Get your butt back in there, Kirby. Uh, this is gonna be fun to edit. I get a... No, Kirby! Uh, I'll have to tape together the Twitch stream and the shitty YouTube stream. Oh no, the keys just slowly change color on their own. They're not actually different colored keys. It's still neat, though, just a different effect than I thought. Run! No! Okay, I need to not run when I pick up that stupid key. Can I just inhale it? Yes, hello, Parker. Flutter jump is one thing, but I can't seem to... If I'm running when I grab the key, I can't seem to be able to jump before I uh, leave the platform. And since I can't flutter jump either, I'm just doomed. Why does he die from that sometimes and not other times? Okay. We're not gonna run. Alright. This kind of reminds me of e Eversion with the thing chasing after you. That was a, Those were... I think it was a couple levels. But that was really fun in a version. I don't think I ever finished my Let's Play of that game. I did that, like, three years ago. But I couldn't... I think I couldn't find a decent way to record it. But E-Version is a really cool game. I should... I am, like, 90% sure I never actually finished the Let's Play of that, or I, I don't think I ever really started and uploaded it. I should go do that. Parker. Parker. This is not the time. I don't know if it's just because I'm at the computer, but I'm not moving around much, but whenever I'm streaming, he always seems to want to come and stand on the desk. Come on, Parker. Don't tell me I have to do the whole thing over. Yeah, I figured. Don't you dare! Stay down! Dude, Parker, don't. Just, just stay down. Dude, I've thrown you off the table like five times. Why do you think you would not be thrown off this time? So if you spit something back at the 
field thingy? Does it get knocked back? Because I could have sworn I saw that happen this last time. Always forget to do shake. Oh, useful. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I just happened to accidentally do that. Okay. I'm gonna walk off any platforms this time. not fall off. Alright. Uh, I guess Ninja. Not for practical reasons, but just because I haven't used Ninja much. Yeah, I've noticed that. They each have their own sort of thing. Thing, Kirby. <sighs> YouTube will get be, be getting a lot of feedback from me about that stream. I have no idea how much attention they pay to the feedback, but I always do try to give feedback to YouTube whenever there's something stupid. They've got a feedback button at the bottom of the page on every page on YouTube now, and it's actually a really nice feedback system. I assume they have some interns somewhere actually looking at them. Bomb challenge, eh? Yeah, I don't know, but I mean, with the live stream, they're clearly trying to improve it, but, like, because that's an unfinished feature. I mean, honestly, I don't have too much trouble with the latest layout. I have some problems with the new layout, but the new channel page layout I prefer. It lets you do a lot of cool things as a as a creator. There's lots of cool stuff you can do to um, showcase different content, which the old channel page really did not let you do. Yeah, I figured the knight gave spear. I just didn't really want it. Hope to be able to use ninja. Man, I was wanting to record the chat for the video that I upload to YouTube, but I forgot to do that again. Ow. No! Oh, I did need a spear, damn it. No, oh, that doesn't heal me. That's not good. Yeah, I kind of figured that wouldn't actually break the ice. 
where I did that. I don't need that at all. Oh, these I bet you can break with fire. Yeah. Not sure you, what you mean about the two thirds being nothing, something nobody needs. I mean, the left and right columns aren't that useful, but the middle section is. Um, it gives you a lot more options, to, like actually put useful stuff there. Depends on people actually actually use that though, but still, because you can feature playlists or uh, your tags, like videos in a tag. Yes, Parker, I know. You are a cat. I see that. Yes, you don't need to come up here. Yes, I still love you. Stay down. Just, no. I'm not sure what he's meowing at me about. No! Come on! Yeah, the old YouTube layout allowed more customization for the, like, the art and stuff, I guess, but I never used that anyway. Ah. I don't like this level. Things I don't really, I really don't like about the new YouTube layout is... One, um, there used to be this way where if you expanded somebody, like, say you're watching a video on somebody's channel, um, you click the button that's, a, that's like, oh, there's more videos from this person, and then you click the next video, it gives you this playlist of all of that person's videos, and then so you can be like, oh, I'll just watch a whole bunch of this person's videos at once. And I did that several, like, lots of times, and then, you know, you were just automatically on this playlist, that has all of their videos on it, which makes watching them all in a row much, much easier and nicer. But now it doesn't do that anymore, which is just completely stupid, and I don't see why you would like it. There's no benefit there at all. And then there's like, on a 1080p monitor, there's like, about a fucking... Man, fuck that energy sphere, I don't even care. Um, there's like a fourth of the screen space that just does not even get used. It's just all white space, and it's not even like evenly spaced, it's just all on the right. And it's weird, and I don't know why they did that. No. Stupid shell. Oh! There's an idea! I didn't even... Damn it. I have another Wiimote. I have three actually. Hold on. I have three Wiimotes, but uh, one of them is synced to the old Wii. Just so I can play... Um, it's actually so I can play virtual console games, but or not Virtual Console, GameCube games, but you can't turn on the console and like launch games through the GameCube controller. They have like serious issues with their interface being not accessible to all the controllers in the game. Or, uh, for the system. It's really dumb. Don't need you anymore, what will do? There you go. <laughs> I'll have to remember that trick. That's... Like, I would normally feel bad about cheating, but, uh, that was kind of bullshit right there. Parker, what is your deal? I think he wants you all to know that he loves you. That's why he's being a royal man. Wait, can I... Oh god. No, Kirby! Thing. Squishy.
Excellent. Aw, oh, are you kidding? Hmm. Aw, oh, man. Did I miss a fire thing? There's an energy sphere in there, of course. Um. I wonder if DDD's hammer break. No. You have to clear through that. Um. Hammer? Fire hammer? Fire hammer, go. No, stop climbing the ladder! DDD! Was there a fire thing? Oh! Damn it, there was a fire thing. Alright. I'm glad the pickup items respawn. It was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, the pickup items are pretty cool. They give you some extra variety along with the uh, attacks and stuff. Just you. Thank you. Uh, out of the way. I just face palmed. Uh, yeah, I wasn't reading chat, by the way. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> That's mean. Knight's wings can cut that. That's hilarious. <laughs> well. Oh yeah, I guess Meta Knight's wings were an attack in, uh... Oops. Meta Nightmare or whatever it was. Test record the chat, even though I probably won't actually upload this chat with the video because I started way too late. 